Some people think that being meek and humble means being timid and maybe even a little fearful. And this is far from the truth. A person of faith who is meek and humble has tremendous courage. A person who's meek and has humility has uh, great strength. And two examples in the Old Testament that I absolutely love are the examples of Judith and Esther. Judith in chapter 8 verse 32, she says this, I am about to do something which will go down through all generations of our descendants. Isn't that a beautiful declaration? I am about to do something that's going to make history. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, do something that will make history. And in the example of Queen Esther, Mordecai sends messengers to tell her, For if you keep silence at such a time as this, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another quarter. But you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Mordecai is saying, you were born for this time. You were born to save the Jewish people. And her response is, if I perish, I perish. Queen Esther is not afraid to die. She knows she was born for such a time as this. So I invite you, my dear brothers and sisters in the faith, make history. You were born for such a time as this.